Hi everyone, welcome to Structon, where I talk about the latest developments in robotics and artificial intelligence. In this video, we are going to talk about Amazon beginning to test Digit Robot in its day-to-day -day operations in its warehouses and Agility Robotics making Digit Robot able to get back up after falling. Digit is a bipedal robot that stands 5 feet 1 inch tall and weighs 99 pounds. It has 4 degrees of freedom in each arm and 12 degrees of freedom in each leg, giving it a total of 32 degrees of freedom. It also has a torso that houses two multi-core CPUs and a modular payload bay that can support additional perception and reinforcement learning capabilities. Digit is equipped with a variety of sensors, including stereo cameras, LiDAR, IMU, and force torque sensors, to enable it to perceive and interact with its surroundings. Digit was designed to be a versatile robot that can perform many tasks, unlike other robots that are purpose-built for a single task. Some of the applications that Digit can handle include last-mile logistics, telepresence, automated inspection, entertainment, and academic research. Digit can also work alongside humans in spaces designed for people, such as warehouses, offices, homes, and outdoors. One of the companies that is interested in using Digit for its operations is Amazon, the e-commerce giant that delivers millions of packages every day. Amazon has announced that it has started a pilot program to test Digit in one of its fulfillment centers in Houston, Texas. The pilot program is part of Amazon's efforts to enhance its workplace safety and delivery speed by using robotic solutions. According to Amazon, Digit will help them store and manage inventory more efficiently and accurately by using its mobility and manipulation skills. Digit will be able to move inventory in and out of storage using mobile robots and gantry systems, pick customer orders from inventory using its arms and hands, and consolidate inventory in totes using its robotic arm sparrow. Digit will also be able to work in an ergonomic workstation that allows it to do all its work in its power zone, between mid-thigh and mid-chest height. This will reduce the risk of injuries for both Digit and the human employees. Amazon says that by using Digit, they will be able to list items for sale on Amazon.com more quickly, benefiting both sellers and customers. They will also be able to process an order through a fulfillment center faster, improving their shipping predictability and increasing the number of goods they can offer for same-day or next-day shipping. But what happens if Digit encounters an obstacle or falls down while performing its tasks? Well, Agility Robotics has also been testing Digit's ability to get back up after falling in its testing lab. They have released a video showing how Digit can self-write and stand back up after it falls. In the video, they intentionally disable the perception systems that would normally avoid or adjust to obstacles preventing Digit from falling. They then force Digit to fall into a controlled environment to demonstrate its new self-writing and recovery ability. The video shows that Digit can use its arms and legs to roll over from its back or front position to its side position. It can then use its arms to push itself up to a kneeling position. From there, it can use its legs to stand back up while balancing itself with its arms. The whole process takes less than 30 seconds and does not require any human intervention. This ability is very impressive and important for Digit's functionality and durability. It shows that Digit can handle unexpected situations and recover from them without damaging itself or the environment. It also shows that Digit can work autonomously without relying on human assistance or supervision. So what do you think about Digit and its pilot program with Amazon? Do you think it will be a game changer for the logistics industry? Do you think it will create new opportunities or challenges for human workers? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.